Welcome back to the show. My guest tonight has more than two decades of coaching experience. On April 10th, he was named as the new Marshall men's head basketball coach. Here to talk about his team and the upcoming season, please welcome Coach Tom Harrion. Coach, thanks for coming on the Tammy, show. Thank you. Thank this you. is Kyle. Have Kyle, a seat. Nice to meet coach. you. Have a seat here, Coach. Oh, goodness. Well, I appreciate you coming on. I know it's a little cold in here, cold outside, but isn't it a great time of year? Well, it is. It is, Jamie. It's a, it's a great time of the year. We're, uh, we're halfway through football season, uh, and now uh, uh, basketball season is quickly upon us Ready now. to start. Now, yeah. I, I, I don't know how to approach this, and, and I'm going to do it as, as smoothly as I can. Coach Donnie Jones held the record for most appearances on our show. Uh, what are we going to do? Donnie's a good man, yeah. uh, but uh, clearly we uh, we're here to do some other things bigger and better than uh, than Coach Jones and the previous staff. Hopefully, but uh, <laughs> Woo! I, I wasn't, there you, go. I wasn't uh, you know I've been here six months and I wasn't sure I ever get on your show, so I thought oh, I was blacklisted already. No, so. no, not at all, <laughs> not at all. James is just really lazy. I, I I am a little lazy. Thank you, Kyle. I said Thank really. You, you no embarrass little. me in front of Coach. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, again, thanks for coming on the show. What's it like now starting? Your second time as a head coach. I bet you're excited about well, it. Well, there's no doubt. Obviously, uh, you know, having been a head coach before, I'm, I'm better equipped right now than I was, you know, when I was a head coach the first time at the College of Charleston. I'm, mm -hmm. I've got more experience, uh, having gone through a lot there, and then the last three years being at the University of Pittsburgh. But obviously, it's a great challenge, uh, one that excites me tremendously uh, since the minute I got the job. And now that we've started practice and we're starting to open up, uh, open up the regular season coming up, uh, we've had a lot of growth. Uh, we still have a long way to go, but uh, I think we've started started to lay the foundation of building a successful program. Well, you, you kind of mentioned it, and I want to ask you about it. Are the rumors true about practice? Because I've been hearing things. I heard that practices are intense. Can you talk about some of the practices well, you, you know, put the team we, through? We have a general uh, general rule. It's just like you know what goes on in Vegas stays, and what goes on in the Henderson Center stays in the okay. Henderson Center. So I like it. you should make T-shirts for that. Well, That's yeah, great. Yeah. Someone's going to someone's <laughs> going to copyright that. Yeah. So, uh, but no, we, you know we uh, we make no bones about the fact that we're a physical team, and right. we you know you don't play physical unless you practice that way. So uh, our kids have done a great job. They've been receptive to the kind of cultural change and the philosophy, uh, and uh, you know we've gotten after it pretty good so far. And that's what exactly right. I mean, you want to practice hard to bring it to the games. Yeah. Now, if you need any help, I just want to throw this out here too, if you need any help, I won the 2007-2008, I was the head coach and of the Barzell Buddy League basketball, 11 and 12 year olds, yes, I still talk about it. So if you need any help on the bench or anything, feel free, give I me a call, that. I'll sit the bench. You're going to be like one of the other 10,000 fans, I have 10,000 assistant coaches, <laughs> exactly. they take credit when we make, you know, things go well and then they obviously cast the blame uh, exactly. on an easy target like myself when they don't go so well. So, again, what are we looking like? I mean, next Friday we're opening up. What's that going to be like on the floor? What, what do you do during a game? Are you that nice-dressed man that just stands there and goes, hey, defense guys, or, or let's press? What's your emotion well, during the game? I, I think you know. Uh, I think the team reflects its coach, uh, and I'm somebody that uh, is passionate uh, and, and, and energetic, mm -hmm. uh, and I think our team will play that way. Uh, I'm going to coach hard. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not so so worried about my style points in terms of what I look like, how I dress, but uh, because I know re in reality I'm no oil painting. You know, I'm no oil, oil, <laughs> oil painting, Jamie. So I don't worry about. It. I, but the, in, in all honesty, you know, I, I do I do have an understanding. The fans don't come to see Tom Herring or a coach on the side. They come to watch players perform and my job is to get them to perform at a high level and perform well uh, so I, I want our I want our fans to come and, and watch our young men play well, that's a good point because it is it is a show it is entertainment what do we need to do to get more fans in the Henderson Center we were talking backstage mm -hmm. I want that pendulum to swing back to basketball I want yeah. that Henderson Center to rock like it did last year yeah. What do we need to do? Well, I, I think, you know, I mean, Donnie and them did a great job of waking up, waking it up a little bit, you know, and it's, it's no coincidence. It, it's based on success. I mean, success begets more success. It creates a level of excitement for our fans. And our, uh, but we've got we've to be consistent. You know, we can't just be coming to the games that are so-called big games mm -hmm. or name games. You know, uh, if we're going to be, if, 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 if our, our fans and our, our, our supporters expect us to be a consistent program winning and, and performing on it, well, they have to do the same thing. And, and most importantly, it's showing up and showing up with energy, showing up with some emotion, some uh, some passion, which I know this this community has. It's one of the reasons right. why I came here. We've got a great tradition in basketball, really deep. We didn't experience a lot of success in the modern era. I think we woke it up last year, and, and the Henderson Center is one of the toughest places to play in conference. You would say, and one of the toughest places to play in the country. Well, conference play. I mean, when it starts in January, I mean UCF first. That's going to be. That's going to be a game, you know, yeah. going up against Coach Jones. And, of course, he comes here the last game of the year. Mm -hmm. I think, like you said, that's going to be one of those big games that everyone's going to come sure. and see. But, I mean, everything else, I mean, you go to Memphis and then the WVU game in Charleston. 
and, and somebody was telling me before you came on, you had the last WVU game. You were at home watching it on TV, or or you had something to do with the yeah, WVU game last year. Yeah, a little when bit. Yeah, we had a little issue there, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and got a little more. Uh, you got paid. You got a little raised during <laughs> that game, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> we got we got our butts whipped, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we had a little situation. Uh, but uh, uh, it was un an unfortunate situation that we've all moved past. Yeah, there and, you go. Uh, and, and I bring it back up like a horrible host. Thank you, Rick Hay, for shaking your head and saying, "Wrap it up." So, what's it like? Playing in those big games, I mean, you've been used to it, you know, at Pitt in, in, yeah. in the Big East and doing those types of, of big games. Watching it is amazing. Mm -hmm. How's how's it coaching it? Well, I mean, you know, there's obviously, as a coach, you, you know, you try to be as even uh, even emotionally preparedness every game because every game is important. Uh, but, you know, when you're in a rivalry game like the WVU game, uh, it's another level. You know, I've been fortunate at the different places I've been at and be in rivalry type of games. And uh, that's another one that's going to be, you know, it's going to be interesting for me to experience my first year now here, being here at Marshall. I went through it on the other end. I was on the north end being at Pittsburgh mm -hmm. playing against Morgan, against West Virginia. Now I'm a little bit further south, obviously, uh, with the same type of uh, disdain or, uh, or, or angst against the, uh, the Mountaineers. Oh, man. Well, it's going to be exciting. And I am so excited for this season. I'm, I'm excited too, Jamie. I know you're all caught. And I, I just have a quick <laughs> suggestion. You remember Rudy, don't you? Sure do. <laughs> the basketball Rudy right here. What do you say? Walking well, on. No, that's yeah, actually a great idea. You know, I, I don't know a lot about my team, but I know that we're not desperate right now. <laughs> I, I led my team in high school in points and assists. Did you really? Yes. You assisted in the cafeteria, I think. <laughs> yeah. Coach, I was homeschooled. Thanks so. for coming on the show. Jamie, we really appreciate you. it. Coach thank Harry you. and everyone, stay with us after the break. The new relics will perform, plus a visit by Emily McKenna. We'll be right back.